Welcome, everyone, to a new season of the NBA. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us at 2K Sports are as we get ready to start the season in style. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. And the upcoming schedule for the Atlanta Hawks. On Friday, they'll be playing against Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. And we've got just enough time for a pregame report. Let's go over to the sidelines, where Allie LaForce is standing by. Allie? Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Boy, Allie, wouldn't that be something? Nothing more exciting than opening day in the NBA. Grant, how pumped are these players right now? Oh, they are so pumped indeed. I mean, look, the offseason can be a long one, but every player loves when the games really start to count. And now the Atlanta Hawks starters. Young and Herder, the one and the two. At the forward slots, Hunter and Collins. And it's Capella in at the five. And for the Mavericks, they've got Kyrie Irving. He's out there with Luka Doncic. And it's Williams in at the four. Here we go. So Atlanta will get the first possession. Both teams deciding to change it up. At the line for Dallas. Kyrie Irving. Shooting once. I'll tell you, man, Irving can do many things for your ball club. But at the top of the list, he's a tremendous shooter with great range and great confidence. Puts up the eight-footer. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Williams. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Bogdanovich against Bryant. From deep. He can't get that one to fall. The Hawks trailing. He's guarded by Irving. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, if you were to hand select a player to take the last shot for you, no one would bat an eye if you chose Kyrie Irving. Ever since his shot over Steph Curry in 2016, Irving's been... And the Hawks shooting just around 32% from the field. We've got Green, and it's Hardaway in at the two. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Outside Herter. Just five to shoot. From deep three-point range, Atlanta gets it back. Screen by Capella. Collins passes to Young. Buries it from about ten feet away. Young's gotten his first bucket of the night. The big man John Collins seeing the court that time. Bryant against Young. From deep. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. Hawk ball. All right, let's take a quick pause and look at the best shooting teams from last season. The Hawks second. They were so consistent with their shooting. Maybe not lights out. They played smart and didn't let good looks go to waste. Hustle stats for the Hawks. Well, in their first half of play, they're closing out aggressively. The block shots, a key indicator of their activity defensively. And for some reason, they've also had guys in the right spots on the offensive glass. Lots of putbacks. 
Pass to Bogdanovich. Powell against Johnson. Picked up by a Kongwu. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Six points for him. And they're trending in the right direction after a rough first quarter from the field. And here's Bryant outside. No good. And that makes him 0 for 3. The Hawks leading. Over to the left wing. Picked up by a Kongwu. From 13. That one's wide left. That's two points they should have had. I'm sure he'd love to get that look again. From the baseline. The rebound by the Hawks. And the first season matchup for them against the Mavericks this year. Yes, yeah, surprised to split the season series last year. These guys have confidence in themselves against anyone they face. And they don't want a repeat of what happened last year here. They know this is an opponent they can handle. And they don't want to give away anything like they did last year. Here's Johnson. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power for it, but outstanding. Rising up off the ground. A minute 50 left in the second. Bryant from deep three-point land. Akongwu with the rebound. Akongwu's got four rebounds now. Well, he's just really struggling right now with everything he's throwing up. Nothing really helping out in terms of his confidence. I mean, these ones. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And their defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks, guys. Clint, an outstanding first half for this team at the defensive end of the floor. What was the key? Just be consistent. Uh, defensive rebounding was one of our keys tonight. And uh, it's just the start, so we're going to try to stay locked in on it. We know this is our key in our transition to, to make a stop here and run. So we're just going to keep going. Back to you guys. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter. Join it in. One half is in the books. One half to go. Well, you look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He's been everywhere. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there. And I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. Both teams will make substitutions. On the court for the Hawks. Collins at the four with Capella at center. Young and Herder, the one and the two. And it's Hunter in at the three slot. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Atlanta's gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Out left to the wing. Back to Herder. And he slams it in one-handed. Just do your work, try to get open, and Trey's going to find you. On the wing, Bryant, guarded by Young. Bryant, no good. Well, both him and the team seem to be off their game right now, and the frustration is clearly mounting as the clock is winding down. Looking to end this cold spell. And it's blocked by Collins. No, sir. Collins sending that one away. I, I just, I've not seen him shoot this poorly, guys, in a game this season. Collins with a screen on Williams. Baseline jumper. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. And here's Bryant outside. Atlanta with a rebound. Capella's got rebound number 11. Here's Herder. Atlanta again missing. 
Won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. His struggles this quarter are self-evident. And the team just continues to suffer for it. Pass to Hunter. Collins a screen. There's Young with the three. Counted from distance. Young's got 10 points in the game. You know I love great ball movement. Trying to wait until they find the best shot. The recipe for success. Green finds Bryant from outside the arc. That one is off. So the Hawks will take it the other way. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after him. Back to Young. To the inside, Collins. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Way too easy for Collins with ideal positioning. He's a real problem. And the Mavericks making a change here. Hardaway's checked in. Here's Bryant. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. To stop the drought. Hunter with the rebound. Hunter's got rebound number seven tonight. And Young, here we go. And that basket makes him five for ten. Steady production so far. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. And here's Bryant outside. Knocks it down from distance. Bryant's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Here's Young. Oh, Green with a block. And they've stopped the action here. They're using their coach's challenge to see if they can get this foul overturned. People were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was smart. The previous play is under thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So they see clear evidence of a bad the call and they're going to the overturn it. Probably the right decision. And give credit to the officials for recognizing the mistake and correcting it. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. And he lobs it up top, and then it's Collins with the dunk. Yeah, when Collins gets up there like that, look out. You've got to applaud Trey Young's hustle out there on the floor. I mean, he plays a lot of minutes, but he maintains a high energy level all game long. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Young misses. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. And that one's good. Green. One place you really see Trey Young's work ethic shine through is on the offensive end of the floor with his assist numbers. Yeah, Young does everything he can to create for his guys. He's a selfless player who wants everyone to get involved. And he's got a real talent for problem-solving defenses and finding ways to get his guys good looks. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Bryant from deep three-point land. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bryant. Looking at last year, here were the players that led the way in terms of overall scoring. Number one, Luka Doncic. Trey Young, fourth. Two premier scoring options that defenses really have to scramble to account for. Atlanta's gone three of four from outside in the second half. Drives to the hoop. Played it in with a nice Trey touch Young. off the window. Young's got 14 points for the game. And what makes Young an all-star caliber player? Well, he can beat you with the jumper and the bounce. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. In 2016, the NBA Players Association made history, voting to extend health insurance to retired players with at least three years of service. Chris Paul said, quote, they paved the way for our game. This is just the little that we could do. 
Whenever my tenure is up as president of the union, that will be easily the greatest achievement. Brian? Boy, that is big time, Alan. Good stuff there. Thank you for that. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Josh Green. The Hawks shooting 44%, a pretty decent clip. Here's Young. Collins outside. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got assist number eight here already in the game. And the Mavericks with possession here. It's off to Utah after this one, where they'll face the Jazz. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. And for the Hawks, Young and Herder, the one and the two. John Collins out there with the Kongwu. And it's Johnson in at the small forward position. Brian against Young. Brian with it. Just five on the clock. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And it's Doncic missing. And it's Atlanta's ball. Back to Young. There's the screen by Johnson. And I think we're all giving more attention to health and well-being. Grant, anything the league can do better to protect player health? Well, I know they've tried to cut down on travel and minimize back-to-backs, but at the end of the day, you're playing 41 road games and 41 home games. That's what it is. It's a marathon. It's going to be hard, and it's an endurance race. And so, yeah, maybe reducing regular season games, but I'm not sure that's an option. So sometimes you just got to grind it out and get through it and hope for the best for your ball club. Down low. The shot by Johnson, no good. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Yeah, I think he's letting his emotions That's get the better of him on foul. that foul. Second team foul. Collins right side. Outside Johnson. Six to shoot. Picked up by a Kongwu. It's Johnson with a drive. D9. They recover it. Young can't hit. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. And the ball out of play. The Hawks will have it. Atlanta ball. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Floats one up, and the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming this way. Grant, as someone who played abroad on Team USA, how exciting is it to see how much more international the league has become? It's fantastic, no question. You know, back then we saw so many talented foreign stars playing internationally, but now the best really do all find their way here to the NBA. Man, that draft day trade is going to be talked about for the entirety of his career as Trey Young linked to Luka Doncic in that big trade. But both teams really benefited from it. And here's Bryant outside. Collins with the rebound. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting him rip. Pass to Johnson. Here's Collins. Over Irving. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. He really hasn't had it offensively tonight. This team needs him to play better. With the floater and the nice layup by Young. Young's got 25 points. And so far, Young is making the defense look old. He is on fire to start this one. Bryant, no good. 
and he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Herder gets the bucket. Three Trying points. more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. And here's Bryant outside. Rebound Atlanta. Collins has got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Well, his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? Here's Young. And he banks in the layup. He's got 27. Balanced play has given them the lead and also quieted this crowd. All night long in control of the pace, and you don't want to let go of that rope right now. Outside Herter. To the left side wing. Fires for three. Another three Trey for Young. Atlanta. For three. Trey Young has been inspired by the generation before him. Deep threes. That's his thing. Young against Bryant. Dallas again missing. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Bryant outside. A shot to stop the run. Pure from three-point range. Well, you can see and maybe feel right now him getting into the comfort zone out there after dropping the second three of the half. Pass to Young. This one for three. Hits the three-pointer. Young. Young's got three. 33 points. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. And here's Bryant outside. Rebound Atlanta. Akongu's got nine rebounds now. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. The 11-footer, and it's Atlanta scoring again. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. And here's Bryant outside. Akongwu with the rebound. Akongwu's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Collins passes to Young. From deep, Johnson. It's rebounded by Dallas. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. Oh, got that one up quick. Bryant's got six points in the quarter. Now, what a great option he gives them on every possession. And he lobs it up. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Over to the wing. The baseline, Jay. And he can't get that one. And Atlanta will come the other way. Pass to Herder. Here's a Kung Wu. Now here's Young. Collins outside. Johnson with it from the arc. The shot no good. And yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. Just showing some tremendous authority controlling the boards. Love it. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. Back to Young. Here's the three. Herder gets the bucket. Herder's got 20 points. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Bryant from deep three-point land. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Pass to Young. Back to Collins. Well, the G League is testing out the one foul shot approach. Meanwhile, the NBA is running commercials between free throws. Brent, do you think the parent league will ever adopt the G League's approach? I don't think so, B.A. I think it's going to stay the way it is where you're two free throws at the line and, and not doing what the G League is doing with the one attempt. But uh, that might be all for speeding up the game. But we still got to get your ad reads in, right? They're doing some good work at the line this half. Bertons checked in for the Mavericks. Weatherspoon comes in for Irving. Fires the three. He drops it from range. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Tipped. 
Bryant outside. Shoots over a Kongwu. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Well, after an impressive first half, he's just not been able to get the room or get anything going here in the second. Pass to Bogdanovich. The three is up. He can't get it to go. And the Mavericks go on the other way now. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Weatherspoon. Now Bertans. Defended by Bogdanovich. Pass to Bryant. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Hawks. What a tremendous showing from three-point land all through this game, guys. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. Finally getting himself to the free throw line. He was sitting back in the first half with no free throws to show for it. Bogdanovich, no good. Bogdanovich has gone one for four from the field. And here's Bryant outside. Capella with a rebound. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Bryant with it, and Johnson picks him up defensively. For three, Bryant, no good. Trying to end this thing with some big threes, but the accuracy just isn't there tonight. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. And he lobs it up to the rim. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. And the NBA and its players taking an active role socially. Grant, talk about what you're seeing now and how it registers with you. Well, you know, it's exciting, it's inspiring, it's patriotic. It's what America is, being able to exercise your voice and helping to form a more perfect union. So that's what it's all about, and I'm excited for the league and its players. It's inspiring, like I said. Fires in the triple. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let them get that good of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Launches a three. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Johnson against Bertans. Pass to Capella. There's the three. Another three for Atlanta. Three. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And Dallas calls time here. They're trailing by 45. 133 left in the fourth quarter. This is the last. Ladies and gentlemen, your Mavericks dance team. Time now to present our New Balance. Well, your seven seconds or less suns really paved the way for the pace and space style that we see throughout the league today, Graham. You know, B.A., it really did. But, you know, it's interesting. I think there were those back then that thought it was kind of gimmicky. But, boy, has it changed. And I, I feel like we could have had more success if we had just gone all in on that approach. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every wave for the Hawks. 
Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> VA, it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. They're playing. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. Yeah, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight. How satisfying was it to get this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting a win. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just here to help my team win, whoever we're playing against. And um, that, that's all I care about. Thanks, Trey. Guys? All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll do it for this inaugural game of the NBA season. For Allie LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off, and we'll see you next time. Every day, give away the ones. Car